What causes a pulmonary embolism? Hi, I'm attorney Jason T. Brown. I handle pharmaceutical litigation nationwide. A pulmonary embolism is generally caused by a blood clot when it gets wedged into one of the main branches of the lungs. When you have a cut outside your body, the blood clots and oftentimes creates a scab while it heals. Think of the pulmonary embolism as a scab developing inside the lungs, but since it's internal, it may restrict the proper flow of blood within the body. If the lung tissue is deprived of enough blood supply when the clot lodges in the lungs, it may eventually result in death of the lung tissue. The blood clots usually originate from the lower extremities, especially from the deep veins of the legs, leading to a condition called deep vein thrombosis, commonly referred to as a DVT. However, blood clots can travel to the lungs through the bloodstream from any part of the body and even originate in the lungs themselves. Some of the causes of pulmonary embolisms include surgery, extended periods of inactivity, birth control hormones, especially the fourth generation of hormones, which may include such popular birth control pills as Yaz, Yasmin, Ocella, Giamvi, Saferol, and Bias. Pulmonary embolisms generally occur when either a single or multiple blood clot are circulated through the bloodstream and become wedged in the pulmonary artery, which is the blood vessel that transports the blood from the heart to the lungs. When the clot occurs, the affected lung tissue is deprived of oxygen, which compromises the overall oxygen supply to the rest of the body and which can result in death from oxygen deprivation if the clot is large enough. Another major risk is if the clot breaks off and travels to the head, it may result in a stroke. There are also certain medical conditions that are associated with a higher risk of blood clots than normal. These diseases can easily predispose an individual to a pulmonary embolism. Some of the medical complications and illnesses that increase the risk of developing a blood clot include factor V Leuton, Hughes syndrome, and thrombophilia, which is a genetic condition that increases the risk of blood clot formation. Symptoms of a pulmonary embolism may include shortness of breath, chest pain in the lung area that becomes more pronounced with deeper breaths, and coughs that have a light colored foamy mucus. If you believe you're suffering from a pulmonary embolism, it is critical to speak with a medical professional right away. If the symptoms are severe, you should call 911 or have someone take you to the hospital. Make sure you communicate to your medical professional if you've had any recent surgeries, are taking any birth control, or already have been diagnosed as an elevated clot risk. Most of the time, if the condition is treated promptly, the long-term outlook is good. If the doctors suspect and confirm a blood clot, in all likelihood, they should immediately instruct you to stop using all hormonal birth control, stop smoking, and prescribe a regimen of blood thinners, which can range from an aspirin a day to Levinox shots or some other blood thinning treatment until the clot has resolved.